good morning on this cloudy morning from New Jersey, Addison, New Jersey. I'm here in the uh, United States since last four or five years and uh, on exile from Pakistan, born in a Muslim family. And uh, apart from 20 years in civil bureaucracy back home, due to which uh, I had to uh, move out fighting with mafias and all these people carrying uh, desire for cult, influence, money, thuggery, deceit, and all these things. I had to move my family first to USA in 2011, then uh, I moved here in 2016. I really feel very blessed to be in the United States of America, the environment it offers, the freedom it offers. No doubt I didn't like, in fact, uh, gagging of uh, President Trump, uh, quickening him on the Twitter, and uh, no doubt I'm a big fan of uh, Trump, not uh, for the man what he is, uh, some of the things he really stood for. I loved him for that and calling Spade a Spade. I don't like uh, hypocrisy in any uh, way. Uh, well, uh, I have been, when I came here, a year after uh, for a year, uh, I got an opportunity to be uh, in Barnes and Noble, very close to me here on the Menlo Mall, and read about over 500, 600 books. My main subject and focus had been politics, spirituality, and philosophy. And uh, I'm very happy, I'm very glad. And I'm so impressed and inspired, uh, especially the books on spirituality coming from MD doctors, amazing really, and how they reached uh, uh, at this stage. And the uh, other day, even I was mentioning about Indian doctor, not an MD from USA, but probably FRCS from uh, London. He talking about spirituality and spiritual way of healing, etc. I came across very beautiful people, one of them, a very uh, famous writer, uh, Melanie Marquis. She's into witchcraft and tarot card and uh, a beautiful heart she has, a beautiful soul. I go after the people who have got beautiful heart, who have got still the tons of soul light in them, like my friend, another thinker uh, in uh, Australia, living in Australia, uh, I, I really admire uh, that such people uh, being from the West have so much inklings. They love Rumi like anything and they love Khalil Gibran and they love all those uh, philosophers, all those thinkers who brought us close to the nature. Let's be, yesterday I was uh, mentioning one uh, Shia uh, Muslim cleric living in India and uh, his sermons on spirituality living close to nature really impressed me hugely and I was forced really to uh, send a message to Melanie Marquis that this is high time we both uh, write a book especially on where Eastern spiritual, spiritual, where East meets the West, they meet at spiritual, spirituality. You see, that is the point where they meet. There, we all humans are alike, irrespective of our color, race, class. All these differences are created then later on for economic ends justified, for economic ends, for material ends. Look how Lebanon busted a booming town in 1970. Then they started pointing, he is Shia, he is Sunni, he is Christian, Maronite, and he is Muslim, and uh, it, it, it exploded. In my own country, Karachi, in 80s, it exploded. Mahajars, immigrants were living there, refugees. The uh, Sindhis were living there, Punjabis were living there. It was a port city, the only port in Pakistan, and uh, the first uh, capital of Pakistan and uh, then suddenly uh, it collapsed and then came the Mahajir movement and establishment loves this drive. Deep state loves to divide us. Look at, I, I feel uh, 
at loss when I look at uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Iran and Iraq and Libya and Turkey, Shia, Sunni strifes, CIA, the establishment, uh, the masters, the colonials, they love this divide because we, instead of being humans, we decided to be material animals. Material, not animals. Animals are far off, far better than us, you see. So I was asking Melanie that uh, that would be very nice and really tell you, I was impressed by Islamic Sufis, by whirling dervishes, their access to spirituality. Read Reza Aslan's book on God. There was a crisis in the Muslim world too, that is God a separate entity or is God resides in one's own self, is part of that dance, cosmic dance, that oneness. And that riddle uh, was solved by a Muslim uh, philosopher, Darvesh again, Bayezid Bastami, when he declared, I am the glory. And Mansoor Halaj, who said, I am the truth, you know, uh, and uh, Mansoor Halaj was beheaded for saying that. That is what Socrates said. Actually, when you have to rule over people physically, materially, and these things, then you have to invade them. That Socrates said, thing. He didn't say what to think, okay? Plato and Aristotle gave a regime so-called a civilization and then asked Alexander to have a go at the whole world. Things are very simple, very easy. I'm a follower of Eckhart Tolle's lesson of now, okay? The best book I read, I, I would say, are three here by the Westerners. One is Eckhart Tolle's Now, another is Gary Zukav's Seed of the Soul. Beautiful book, what is authentic power, what is being. And uh, again, the third book, Oneness by Russia. Russia, what is the dance of oneness, you see, being close to the nature. So uh, I thought I, I, I have uh, sort of uh, many people listen to me uh, because most of uh, my vlogs are heard in Pakistan. So the audience uh, cannot understand English to whom I am addressing. And uh, I could have uh, far more audience in the West had my vlogs been in English, but, it did, but I didn't opt so. I deliberately didn't opt so. Pakistan consi consists of 220 million people. I was born in Pakistan. I have roots in Pakistan. Pakistan owes a lot. Uh, I owe a lot to Pakistan, you, know? you see. My, again, the best writer referring to Mohsin Hamid, I, in my Urdu vlog, mentioned him, uh, his Exit West. What a beautiful novel he wrote. And before that, uh, 12 years, 12 or 13 years before he wrote, uh, 15 years before, Reluctant Fundamentalist, you see, another, again, a beautiful novel, Reluctant Fundamentalist. It's a deceit we are living in. Any religion, any constitution of the country, any uh, moral uh, 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 stuff can be a means for an end. An end is that this, that nirvana, that cosmic dance which we should strive for. This soul is residing in body for a very limited time. And that too is there to have uh, some noble, some noble pursuits to follow, like altruism. I have been a very, very great admirer of uh, Anne Rand as to personal self, ego, struggle, rise. But she lacked the sense of altruism. She was against it. And Trump, unfortunately, was following and Rand's thought. Trump's presidential team also were and Rand's uh, followers. Okay. I disagree with them on one point. The thing, it should be done from the human perspective, from the human uh, values, instead of the control, instead of dictation, instead of uh, cult, influence. I am forgetting the name of that Hollywood star who wrote on cult and influence against it. But uh, you would be so surprised. She said that these, uh, they w went for the cult and influence directors, producers and these movie stars. 
and uh, i was marginalized because of a female uh, so she i will write uh, when i remember and check up if i have her book and uh, unfortunately she herself on twitter i saw uh, loving the cult and the influence we love to have millions of sub subscribers other day i was uh, Uh, I was liking a tweet by uh, one of the writer I follow on the Twitter in California that celebrity is that if you are following uh, none or uh, maximum 10 people and you are followed by 1 million or 10 million you are a celebrity <laughs> what a hypocrisy it is what a hypocrisy it is so things are very easy very simple i am really enjoying life here in united states of america and uh, i believe uh, that uh, our uh, destination human uh, uh, evolution again uh, this time will be from united states of america and that evolution would be seen beyond five senses you see these five senses somehow or the other in between in these 2000 years last 2000 years due to wars due to conflicts due to cult influence and this materialism somehow got impaired due to environmental pollution now these five senses are also not performing in their fullest so uh, i would say that uh, that that is why the next evolution would be seeing beyond five senses already science technology is helping us a lot and when we talk of uh, holographic uh, communications and this even youtube channels they have revolutionized the uh, passing of information this communication this info sector take uh, good care of yourself and uh, i'll try to come up uh, off and on with vlogs in english too bye bye from new jersey usa